Hello and a very good evening. Welcome to the RSPCA. Now, as you would know, it's a very expensive business looking after animals, all creatures, great and small. And uh, as a result, one of the things that ex express that is that a herd of goats has turned up at the RSPCA, including this little guy called Sam. We'll take a closer look at them shortly. But on the fundraising side of things, there is an important event coming up on the 15th of August, which is a Monday, and it's called Cupcake Day. And that's where you can arrange to have a cupcake get together, raising funds for the RSPCA. So if you'd like to participate in that, you can register your interest now online at the Cupcake Day website and uh, put your details in and get the ball rolling on that. More of the goats shortly, but the temperature in Perth today got to 19 degrees. That came after an overnight minimum of 5.1. At the moment it's dropped back to 15.6 degrees, the winds are very light, northeasterly at 7 kilometres an hour, barometers hovering around 1,023.4 hectopascals, that's down on this time yesterday, and the relative humidity 63%. Daytime temperatures got to 20 out at Gosnells today, 19 at Bullsbrook at Guildford and Swanbourne, and the lowest was the 16 in the hills at Carnot. For the state, 36 was the highest maximum at West Roebuck near Broome. 14 the lowest, that was in the southwest corner of the state at Shannon, and the lowest last night was zero at Southern Cross, Yaliri, and at Wandering. There were a few falls of rain, particularly near the south coast and the eastern half of the south coast in the 24 hours to 9 o'clock this morning. A uh, few locations around Esperance had in the order of 2 to 4 millimetres of rain. Now to the goats that have just arrived at the RSPCA. This herd is made up of four adult females, a billy goat, and uh, this little guy, Sam, a uh, male, and uh, they're going to be available soon. They're not available at the moment because they've just come in and they're going through their health checks and everything. So they're looking at things like parasites, but they're also uh, being uh, had someone looking at their hooves today. So some treatments needed on those. So what the RSPCA is saying is that you've, if you've got space for goats, uh, you could register your interest in taking these down the line but it could be two weeks or longer before they become available for adoption. So they're at the Malaga shelter at the moment. On to our series of satellite photographs and we have this huge amount of cloud sweeping in from the Indian Ocean. Most of it's high and high base middle level cloud at the moment, but it could develop into something over areas north of Perth over the next 24 hours. The chart is dominated by the high pressure cell. Today that was up to 1,029 hectopascals. Tomorrow it's expected to increase to 1,032 but it will be moving away and we'll start getting into the warmer air on the retreating side of the high. The rainfall model is suggesting not a lot of activity over Western Australia tomorrow. Uh, the Bureau is forecasting a little bit of light rain in the Gascoyne, possibly into the northern parts of the Central West District. And then late in the day, some isolated showers may develop in the southwest, south of Bunbury. Looking at the state temperatures now, and near the south coast it's going to be cloudy, temperatures in the teens. In Carnarvon there's the possibility of some of that light rain on a top of 26 degrees. Heading north you get into the low 30s in the Kimberley. For the nation, over in the southeast it's starting to ease off, but they're still forecasting a shower or two in Melbourne and in Hobart. Uh, the other cities should be fine, but a frosty start for Canberra and Alice Springs. The winds on local waters won't be strong. They'll start north to northeasterly in the morning. Late in the afternoon, they'll be south to southeasterly and then easterly in the evening. Seas under half a metre and the southwesterly swirl between one and a half and two metres. High tides around a metre at four minutes to five in the morning. Low tide 0.7 of a metre at 12 minutes past three tomorrow afternoon. Perth should be partly cloudy. The winds will be light. The minimum down to eight and the top should get to 20 degrees. On Friday, we're expecting some rain to develop during the day. Friday night into the early hours of Saturday morning, there could be 6 to 15 millimetres of rain. Before that, a top of 21 degrees. Saturday should clear up generally until a late shower or two, less than a millimetre and 18. And on Sunday, it looks like the showers are going to roll in once again. Looks like that cold front could bring us another 4 to 15 millimetres of rain. So that's it from me this evening, and good night from the goats at the RSPCA.